Hey friends, what's going on there? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and today I am happy to bring to you a lesson for Ring of Fire. So you can play this entire song with three chords, but there's also a lot of opportunity to sort of mimic the mariachi horns that you hear in the Johnny Cash album version of this song. It makes it so distinctive, and with a few little notes here on just the uh, fourth and fifth and sixth strings, you can really do a lot to capture that sound. So let's get right to it, okay? So two main things I'm gonna cover with this lesson in order. First up is the chords you'll need and the basic strumming and the sort of, you know, how to play the verse, how to play the chorus, okay? A lot of foundational stuff. If you just want a simple, simple campfire, strum along version, that'll take care of what you need. Now in the second half of the lesson, I really wanna to get to the sort of the mariachi style, you know, mimicking the sound of those horns and doing some of the walk ups and the walk downs and the, the sort of like baseline leady riffs kind of stuff, right? It's a little bit trickier, but if you wanna start with that as well, you're able to. You can kind of sort of play those leady riffs without a lot of chord strumming if you want to avoid chords for some reason. Uh, that's what we're gonna cover. Skip ahead or jump back if you want to go to something specific, but otherwise, let's get right to it. And as always, check out playsongnotes.com. It's my website where you can find the notes and the tabs for this lesson, for all my other lessons, if you want to access this stuff outside of this video. So first up, this song is going to use three chords, okay? It's gonna be a G, okay? You can play it however you like. You know, sometimes you can leave that second string with the, the third fret pressed down or open. I'll leave it to you, it doesn't really matter. Now, the other chords are a C and a D, okay? Now for the C chord, the typical way to play it is like this. You know, the thinnest five strings, right? And the D chord is thinnest four strings, okay? Now, if you wanna keep this easy uh, and simple, what I recommend doing is playing the G chord like this, where you're basically going third, second, open, open, third, third. And then for the C, we're gonna do a C add nine, which is basically, we're just moving our middle and index fingers in our left hands toward the floor, one string, so that becomes our C add nine. We'll just call that a C, okay? That's our G and that's our C. Notice how my middle and my index finger are all that's moving here. My ring and my pinky are staying perfectly still. And that's why I recommend playing this chord if you wanna keep things simple, is because you're sort of minimizing the number of things that are changing between these two chords. And when you go to a D chord, your ring finger is gonna stay in the perfectly same spot. Okay? See how I go from the C to the D and back again. My ring finger is in the same spot for all these chords, actually. The G, the C, and the D. Okay? So that's how I'm going to teach this lesson. If you want to play it like Johnny Cash, you could do the regular G chord and then sort of do a regular C chord. And he actually does a D7 a lot of the time. So intermix that if you please. But again, just from now on, know that I'm going to be doing mainly this G, this C add 9, and this D. Okay, so those are the chords you need. Now let's look at the song Big Picture. You basically have a verse and you have a chorus. Okay? Now for the verse, you're going to be going from a G to a C to a G, and then a G to a D to a G, okay? So love is a burning thing. That's G to C to G, and then next we're going from G to D to G, and it makes a fiery ring, okay? I'll do it again. Bound by wild desires. All down strums here. I fell into a ring of fire. Okay, I'll show you more strumming in a minute, but that's all you need for the verse. And the chorus is basically gonna start on a D, so. I fell into a burning sea of fire. And the G, okay? D, 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 to C, then to G. And, it, and then you stay on the G for a bit. Burns, 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 that C a G. Okay? So hopefully that little, you know, these, these notes here help you out. And you can see that basically there's not a lot that's crazy going on with these chord changes. You're either going from G to C to G, or, and then a G to D to G, or you're doing that chorus sort of D to C to G. You do that twice, D to C to G, 
And then you go back to that G to C to G, G to D to G, okay? So that's all you need chord progression wise. Let's talk about strumming for a second here. Basically you wanna do, uh, if you wanna keep things simple, I would just do all down strums, but I would sort of accent the two and the four. So one, two, three, four. I want to take things a little bit further. What I like to do is a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Let's jump to that chorus. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, so hopefully you get the idea there. So take those chords, take those strumming patterns, pick the one you want and you should be good to go. Now let's get to that mariachi section of the song. Now for this, basically, what I want you to do is, first of all, listen to the recorded version. Have the horn section in your head, okay? That's gonna help you sort of give a reference point to these notes. But basically, the first one is going to be this. That first little phrase here is gonna be this second to third to fourth on the fifth string. Okay, and that's gonna go to a open fourth string. Okay, so open fourth string, and then basically imagine your hand in the C position and go from the fourth string to the fifth string. Okay, so that second fret on the fourth and third fret on the fifth, but ends up on the open fourth string. So that opening phrase. All right, now the key is you could play that same sort of phrase with your hands in a G shape to the C shape into the G back to the G, okay? Which is the chords I already showed you to show. So you know my hand is really in that chord shape and you really could kind of get strummy and sort of play the other strings and it won't sound terrible. Okay? Now the next part will be we're all on the fifth string here. Second, third, open second. get strummy with some extra strings there, it would sound like that, okay. Let's do the first one again. And then the second one. Okay, so that's the two main mariachi riffs there. And remember that lead up is really important too. This is a strum along version where you mix in the mariachi with the strumming. And the key to this one is you really just want to feel the strumming at a natural rate. I'm not going to tab this out strum for strum because it, it's too it's, it's too casual of a song, right? This isn't the, this isn't like classical guitar. You know, you're kind of being loose and and uh, feeling it. Okay, but basically those are the two main uh, mariachi riffs. And then one last thing you can do with the mariachi riff is you can sort of integrate that into your strumming version where you're not, you're sort of, you're singing along, right? So it'd be like this. So love is a burning thing But it makes a fiery ring Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire. Right? Or you could do the same thing, but sort of tighten up the timing so you don't have the long breaks there. Check this out. Love is a burning thing, but it makes a fiery ring. Bound by wild desire, I fell into a ring of fire. And here you go right to the chorus. Now we go to the end of the chorus. I like to do the same opening phrase there. But then you end on a D because the chorus starts on a D. So, oh, but the fire went wild. Then do the riff. I fell 
fill into a burning. So basically, the last line of any of the verse sections are going to be on a G, and then you want to basically leave your index finger where it is, second fret of the fifth string, and then second, third, fourth on the fifth string, and then go to a D chord for it. I fill into a burning ring of fire. Okay. A couple little tricks I'll show you here is for if you want to imitate the sort of lead with the playing, you can do a I fell into a burning ring of fire. This is a stretch on the D, but if you can get your pinky there, it sounds good. Okay? And for the burns, 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 just basically the thinnest, or actually the thickest notes of the G chord, the thickest three notes. Burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. Okay, and that would be the sort of melody notes for that last couple of lines of the chorus there. But that's all you need to play this song. So I hope you like this lesson. Let me know in the comments if there's anything I didn't cover that you want to hear. And remember to check out my website, playsongnotes.com. I have many other Johnny Cash lessons. And if you like this one, do check those out because they might be something that, uh, you're looking for. So this has been David Potts with Song Notes. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. And remember, I want you to pick up that guitar and play. Bye-bye.